All right, Perk, you've given us several gems like Steph Curry's offense as his defense, Russell Westbrook averaged a triple-double, and we thank you, but I ain't gonna lie. What you been doing with this MVP race has gotten nasty. We gotta pack you up, bro. I'm sorry. And also, before we go into the rest of the video, this is by far, by far the most annoying MVP race I've ever witnessed, bro. Oh, my God. I believe his short interest is, but oh, oh, I can't stand it. Everybody's just stupid this year. Everybody's just dumb. It's not even like, it's not even like... Like you can't make an argument for one of the three, but everybody just brain neutral takes. Oh. Kendrick Perkins, Ramona Shelburne, and Malika Andrews, Cheney. Malika! Azumike. That was 48 hours ago, yeah. Perk. Some MVP performances, though, that yeah. went down last night. Let's take a look at one from Joel Embiid against the Celtics. The Celtics were a little bit shorthanded. Oh. No Jalen Brown in this one. No Robert Williams. Mickey Mouse 50, bro. Embiid Mickey Mouse 50. Up and he showed out. So we're picking this up with just under eight minutes Video left to play here. Sixers crazy. down by two, but not for long today. That is Where's the game. Yeah, yeah. 50, right 50 on Blake Griffin, bro. Congratulations. Oh my god, Blake Griffin looks like that. Yeah, Blake Griffin with a mustache, bro. Congra look, look, look at this. Congratulations, bro. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck it, that beat MVP. Let's go. Look at Yo, I can't. And this is the most lethal play in basketball. The Jerome D. James Harden pick and roll. You gotta love it. And where are you? Oh my god. No one was falling. No rolling. Yeah, exactly. It's a pick and pop. All the same action. What were you saying about right, their two-man game? That's a lot smart, uh, right? It's money. And nah, that, that one. Was, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is this night. Nice. What are nice. hitting those? God. It's unreal. But watch the PJ Tucker three is the one that killed Great awareness. Bro. Everyone's keyed in on Joel Embiid. <laughs> He's smart enough to find the corner. The three-point shot. And guess what? This guy, he... Plays with competitive yep. fire. Gotta love P.J. Tucker. And when it mattered the most, he struggled a little bit early, but in the fourth quarter, he could Us. not miss. Us. He doesn't run for quick first step, all the fame. And the of him there allows Joel Embiid to get straight to the hoop on this one. Like, what? Come on. <laughs> this this was a statement. Often, by the way. Joel going yeah, to work over on. Grant Williams. Did you Another the corner. P.J. Tucker. Hey, Jokic twice. fans, who can pass to? Yeah. Oh, my. The Sixers, <laughs> they roll in this one. 103-101. <laughs> Now, hey, you saw Jalen Brown on the third bench, though. fifty so, point game of the season. I ain't worried. He's I ain't the worried. first center with at least worried. three fifty point games in a season since Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and that was in nineteen seventy one, seventy two, when he had five of those mm, games. Never so, been Jenea, done okay, before. What did you see from Joel Embiid? Sounds like the case is closed. So rare. People are looking for reasons to vote for Embiid this year, in the sense that Jokic has two MVPs, Giannis has two MVPs. After the other the other game the other night, I thought Giannis really played his way back into that first place conversation not just in the top three, but when you go out and get 52 points, and they needed all 52 of those points. This is the second time this year he scored more than half of his team's points. His team scored 103, he had 52 of them. Which is insane. Insane. And and they all the last time they played Boston, when they did have Jalen Brown, when they did have their the, more of their players, came down to a buzzer beater. And so this is going to probably be your second round matchup. And I think Joel, in this game, gave you that game. If you're a voter that's on the fence, you're mm -hmm. looking for reasons to vote for him, gave you that 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 52-point game? game that you can feel this? good about. Perk looks like this? he's percolating on something. <laughs> yes! I'm not, I'm not. Let me say yes! this, okay? You know, Logic. about three weeks ago, I caused a whole lot of confusion. And we're not it. about to dive into that. <laughs> but uh -oh. I always wanted to know what was no, the no, criteria we will. and what we was voting for yep. for us meeting the MVPs. And I said three weeks ago, it's going to come down to Tatum, Embiid, Giannis, and Jokic for me. And whichever okay. team finished, okay. which, whichever guy team has the best record, that's who I'm voting for mm. because they always like two games apart. Mm. And so Giannis is going to finish with the best record. Now, on mm. the other hand, would I like Embiid to win the MVP? Does he deserve it? Yes. And guess oh. what? If he do win the MVP, although he's not getting big perk vote, I will be at his at his. Uh, Pause it, bro. His Pause it, bro. Case, oh my baby. god! I haven't said this on the on, on a video in a long time. B F F R, bro. B fucking for real. What are we doing? What are we? Do <laughs> Yo, this is this is. I ain't gonna lie. This is the most clown turnaround take I have ever seen. This is this is the definition of a just chatting streamer. You should you should you should start streaming Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> You might, there you might be, on. you might beat Rage and Hassan for for just chatting streamer this year, dog. This is the definition of just chatting. Cause four weeks ago, when we had all this hoopla about Jokic having white privilege and then making the conversation about race, you had no problem making it a 
about that and, and and questioning everyone voting for Jokic when Jokic at the time had the best record and had MVP stats. You you clearly just said in your take that the stats are too close, so I'ma just vote on who has the best record. When he made those comments a month ago, that was the case, Perk. That was the case. But you were all on, on, on the social media platforms on ESPN talking about yo, every everything is so inconsistent. I don't what what's 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 the criteria? What's the criteria just for you to turn around and just use the most basic criteria out of them all, which is just who is the best player on the best team. But when when people said Jokic was the MVP four months ago for pretty much the same reasons, plus historic stats, there was a problem back then. Shit makes no sense, dog. Shit makes no sense. I'm going to come clean because if one of my dogs see this in real life, they going to think I'm being shady. Perk is exactly like one of my friends in real life. One of my friends, if he's watching this, he know what I'm talking about. I think him and Perk are cut from the same cloth where they have an idea that, bam, they don't want Jokic to win. They don't want him to get three MVPs. Whatever the case may be, they don't want Jokic to win this. Probably for the three MVPs. But because of whatever underlying reason they don't want to admit to the public, or they just don't want to sell out, they just don't want anything at the wall. And that's what makes this fucking race corny to me because it's a lot of people like that like souls just said Jokic at a point in time you could go warp through shooting percentage efg whatever the fuck he was winning and then at some point bro was winning the points rebounds assist steals blocks conversation he was winning the field goal percentage three point percent he was winning the basic stats so once that got out the way it was wins for a second i think Embiid was like fucking with it with Jokic and wins maybe that's just wrong but then once Jokic started clearly winning it was no longer about wins it was like well last year the wins didn't matter da, da, da. now we fast forward to today and the king of team and bead is just like whoever got the most wins wins and that's why i'm going Giannis. which i'm not saying and this is what this is the problem with my bro that's the problem with any person watching this video nobody here's caping for Jokic. souls might like Jokic. i like Jokic. am i a Jokic fan stand no to, to, to be blunt no i don't really sit there and watch nuggets games all the fucking time he's not like one of my more favorite players he probably wouldn't even sniff my top 20 favorite players but the issue is y'all are just out here lying or you actually got dumber this year and it doesn't make sense to me bro because then because like motherfuckers is just talking we're just talking now like when, remember when people was pushing the uh luka mvp agenda it's the same thing and i'm like uh hey <laughs> it's the same argument and one's doing it better and how the fuck because luka got a bag like I, uh, it's just motherfuckers just talking nobody's saying Giannis and b don't have an argument honestly i woke up like a week ago thinking i'm actually switching the team Giannis. tell you the truth and the whole time i'm like but like niggas is gonna keep lying so at this point for last thing i I've dragged it for too long. At this point, I want to beat the Winslow's. I want him to get the Here Nigga Damn Award. I, I truly do. I truly want the Here Nigga Damn Award because I'd rather see that and I'd rather see the following backlash for that because I think it's more justified than either Giannis to win it because Giannis, win if Giannis wins, it's a scapegoat. If Jokic wins, he's going to serve hell for the rest of his career unless he wins a ring. Any year he doesn't win a ring, nigga's going to bring the shit up. So I want Embiid to get the Here Nigga Damn Award so at least the backlash of it should have went to Jokic is just roll your eyes okay but it didn't so that that's i, I want i want to be doing tell you the truth like y'all lucky I you, you, you know it's crazy over the last couple of weeks I, i've genuinely like asked the timeline like yo what what is Embiid's case and i have actually been genuinely more open to Embiid winning the mvp like period pe pe point blank but my problem is, is is kendrick perkins came on national tv and made the whole thing about goal posts moving we keep on moving the goal posts for Jokic and Embiid x y and z and then i'm looking at kendrick perkins's track record and out of everyone in the media bro is the one pushing the goal posts the most i ain't gonna lie he he is the one moving the goal post first it was about uh scoring you know who like no no mvp in the last 30 years has um not been a top 10 scorer in the league and then for you a month later to say hey just whoever ends up with the best record with three games left by the way three four games left so pretty much the records are all set for you to say that is crazy so now like magically if Jokic gets the best record in the league he's your mvp now it's some clown shit and, and it's sad because i feel like if there's any beauty in the MVP conversation this season is that it shows that the the NBA community and over the last couple of years is that the NBA community is having more progressive conversations about player impact and not just making it yo uh Steve Nash you're, you're the best player on the best team here's here's the MVP here you go um it's just the president of the award so let's just give it to the best player on the best team but for you to essentially revert all the progress is like 
I don't know, bro. Like, I, just chatting. I, I, I literally, like, <laughs> I keep on saying I don't know, but I swear to God, I'm just, I'm just hearing words being said yeah. <laughs> so that it sounds good and you can get a takeoff. Like, I, I like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Souls, man. At the end of the day, this MVP shit is all over the place. My vote will go to motherfucking Kevin Durant. He get 26 points tonight. If he give me more than 25 and a half, <laughs> Kevin Durant, my MVP for the night, that motherfucker, he got, he got the pick. Let's put it that. Let's put it that way. He he got the pick tonight. He got the pick tonight. And shout out the Prize Fix for sponsoring this video. Our proud sponsor of today's video. The best way to do daily fantasy sports. Prize Fix is the best legal way to play player props in valid states like Florida, California, Texas, and more. It's just you in the projected numbers. Prize Fix is gonna have a bunch of projected points, rebounds, assists, PRAs, which are points, rebounds, and assists, steals, blocks, whatever the case may be. You just have to. Determine, is that player going to get more or less than said protection? And the app is very, very easy to use. I'll guide you through it right now. For my entry today, I'm going to guess that Kevin Durant gets less than 25 and a half points. Souls will be a broke man tonight. <laughs> Souls will be a broke man tonight. It might as well be Sage and Souls because I'm going to say that he will score more than 25 and a half tonight. I also think Embiid is going to score less than 31 and a half points. This is my hater entry. I ain't going to lie. So, so, so Embiid... Less than 31 and a half points. Devin Booker, yeah, less than 27 and a half points. Yeah, yeah, I'm going all less. I'm going all less. Who's scoring tonight? And mind you, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's going to be a power play, and I'm putting 30. I'm putting 30. I'm going to place my entry, and it's as simple as that, and I'll get the results tomorrow. I'll let y'all know though on the timeline, like, for real, for real. <laughs> God damn it, Kevin. And thanks to Prize Picks, all of our users will get up to $100 matched on their first deposit with code SNS. You can also use a link in the description. Shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to Perkyo, man, because this is still crazy. But can I also talk about this for one minute? Can we talk about the relationship Embiid and Doc Rivers have? It's almost like the perfect marriage. When I look at uh, Sinead, oh. when you just went up there with your cheat sheet and you did it so well. Thank you. He's catching all the ice. He's catching the ball at the right spots, yep. right? We talk about the elbow and at the nail and things to that nature. For so long, it was like, oh, put him beat on the post, which is the easiest spot to get double. So when you at that There's that middle point and those work. elbows and he have time to operate, all of a sudden he's able to be the best version of himself. So you know, although oh I got God, Giannis, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm rooting for him. Awful, it? Okay, but look at this. I this mean, this is where he operated. It's wild. Twenty of twenty-five, fifty. 52 points and like you said like he did not this settle cute, he didn't though. just like fall in love with their doubling me it's harder to get to the pain hey, like, Boston, I'm gonna still ain't got no bigs, you huh? have to go through it to get to it Damn. what Joel Embiid has gone through is two seasons in a row in which he's been second in MVP yep. I you? think this was the oh, exclamation no, point oh, to say no. do not vote me second vote me first and I think the most important thing to really when you compare all these things best player best team, team best record they're all in the same similar category right like I believe the Bucks are 57 and 22 um you know the the Sixers are what 52 and 27 and so are the Nuggets yeah they're all in the same vicinity then we start thinking about who had sensational seasons Giannis I think is averaging his career high too mm -hmm. which is really uh -huh. falling under the radar but we're seeing a center that is leading the NBA in scoring 33.3 yeah. points in a row. per game yeah. second year in a row like to me to see someone go over three these three year span right. and prove in playing more games and also deliver to me that's the type of history <laughs> right. that is maybe not in the same class as Jokic because when we talk about breaking down the game the free throw line is where both of them have done their damage Joel Embiid has done it with his scoring um, Nikola Jokic has done it with his facility Mm -hmm. He gets the assist from the high post. I don't like to differentiate the two. I like that Joel Embiid has sort of said, this is my time, this is my award. Right, and this year. I disagree just from the fact that she brought up seasons of the past in her argument. Like, the, the, the award should only be based off of the 82 games that have been played starting in, what, November of this year. That that, that should be it, period, point blank. I, I, I don't want the award to be a pity award. I don't want the award to be based off a of narrative. I don't want to 
set the precedence that will allow for voter fatigue to exist even though certain players deserve it because that's how we get I don't know 1997 when Karl Malone got the MVP over Michael Jordan just because they were tired of MJ getting the fucking MVP that's the same reason as to why people these days are still mad about Derrick Rose getting the MVP over LeBron even even though in my opinion he had a better argument but you know like like shit like that <laughs> like like shit like that but when we have these conversations like Kendrick Perkins and, and this panel is having right now it allows for more room for the goalposts to be moved you know what I'm saying and, and, and I feel like and the problem with that is if you keep on literally moving the goalposts every single year then the MVP award just becomes a head ass award I, I'm, I'm I'm being so serious that's what I'm gonna call it it's just you, you give it to whoever the fuck you want you know what I'm saying I, at least you know before the last couple of years the consistency while yes certain players that that played better than the MVP did not get it over the MVP at least the MVP was consistent and it wasn't just who do we feel like giving it to this year and I do feel like over the last couple of years it has been consistent it's just in a different direction now but then when we push it to this direction for the next three years and then for the next two we're pushing it back to just best player on the best team and then for the next three it's about value and then for the next five is best player on the best team then that's when it becomes what what is the criteria you know what I'm saying and like I said, I can't judge a person who views basketball from the outside looking in and says it doesn't make sense. So an MVP is just supposed to go to the scoring champion who is a competent defender. That would change a lot of MVPs in history. I don't know if y'all know that, but it would change a lot. Um, I'm just stuck on, and I'm petty, so I'm stuck on it. But a lot of people came, a lot of people DM me, tag me, said in group chats or whatever. And as we've seen in this clip, oh, this, this is GG's. This determines my shit. Bro, 52 ain't even like a top five scoring performance this year. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, is this supposed to be the best game of the three? Because it's not. I, I don't, I don't. Do you think between Giannis, Jokic, and Embiid, or even Embiid himself, that this is the best game? Because I don't think it is. It's the highest scoring game, but I'd sir, I don't think this is Embiid's best game. I know it ain't Jokic's best game. Jokic had like 40, 17, and nine or something. Yeah. And then uh, Giannis, not too long ago, damn near dropped 50 his himself. And and Giannis, like, DPOY, to me, I think he got it. So I just don't under, I just don't, ah, uh, ah. Uh, this is, this is a year. <laughs> this is, this is new. This is new. And like Soul said, to wrap it up, we've been progressing. We've been progressing time and time again on what these awards should be. We've had two people in the past decade win an MVP, and they weren't even the third seed. So we've been having this progressive idea time and time again for this year's argument to essentially be based on past arguments or based on history. What I don't want to happen today is the most backwards circle shit. Like, I will say this if mb does win and i want him to get the here nigga damn award but if he does win it will be not a factory reset because let's face it it, it niggas just don't want Jokic to win if Giannis wins who cares but it will be the most reset shit i've ever seen in my life we would have taken two steps forward just to jump five steps back just for i don't know entertainment what also annoys me too is how extreme people are with their arguments because it's either they go like seasons past like what what like what we've been talking about or they go game by game like, it's not, we're never talking about the, the, the body of work for the whole season. It's, yo, uh, uh, and beat Smoke Jokic, okay, uh, and, B, and B got it today. And then a couple weeks later, oh, and B's injured for this game? Oh, he's ducking Smoke. Jokic oh, he's, playing, he's ducking smoke. Ah, oh, he's ducking smoke. And then even in the reverse, like a couple weeks after that, Embiid and Giannis played. Giannis dogged Embiid. No conversations about that, though. I'm, uh, uh, didn't, didn't hear much about that. Didn't hear much about that. Man, I'm sorry. Giannis has been treated so unfairly this race. That's why yeah, I'm going to feel bad if he wins because niggas going to think he's the scapegoat award. Let me be clear. I honestly might be leaning. I might be team Giannis right now. This ain't team Jokic. Say, so I don't know. I truly don't know. It's it's obviously them three. I might be team Giannis, dog. Giannis is dog. Look, Giannis is cooking. <laughs> Giannis is cooking. He's the one seed. He has five games over everybody else in the race. He's arguably the DPO why i know i said he probably is early but he's definitely in the conversation like this is this is ridiculous that he's not like getting press and because he's not getting press he's probably not going to win the award because it's funnier to argue is it about race i don't know i don't know so that it, it's just corny it's so corny bro i i hate this year
Yeah, and, and and then and then when Embiid dropped fifty, the conversation. Oh, oh, yo, don't look at that box score with, with the Nuggets versus the Rockets because uh, uh, Jokic got outplayed by by Sengun and, and lost to the Rockets. I'm like, yo, when like literally the last time this has happened was when LeBron and the Lakers beat um, Giannis and the Bucks before like everything shut down. Oh, it's everyone was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this, hey, hey, this y'all MVP. That's the only time this has ever happened, and that was one game. But for this to be like this this is just this is just nuts dog this is cuz even in 2017 2017 was a crazy year it was clearly Russ versus Harden the the stats were going back and forth I, even going back I don't think ever anyone ever brought up the head to head matchups between them and they played more often than Jokic and Embiid yeah, it, like yo this, this shit is corny dog shit is corny all right, y'all. Regardless of who wins, uh, I'll say this is the worst race of my life. Uh, but I'm going to enjoy these playoffs. Hell, maybe Jokic does get bounced out. I'm a Lakers fan, so yay me. Uh, but comment below who's your MVP. This will be the last time we talk about it until someone actually wins the award. I think everybody wants to hear that. It's me, boy, TSL Sage. Here, my brother Benjamin. Y'all take care and stay blessed.